The club formed in 1893, making them the oldest team in Italy's history. They are also the fourth most successful club in the Italian history, having won Serie A on nine occasions. However, their fortune in recent years has not been great. Genoa are now a team which often come mid table and struggle to compete for European football. That theme has continued this season, with the club currently 12th in Syria having amassed 24 points in 22 games. Due to their tendency to finish outside the European places, Genoa have had to sell their best players to bigger clubs. But what would their team look like if they had kept all their star players? Perrin was Genoa's first choice goalkeeper for the best part of five seasons, accumulating 151 appearances for the club. He left last summer to join Juventus in a £12 million move. Crisito has been one of the best fullbacks Italy have produced in recent years. The 32 year old, who has 26 caps to his name, started his fourth spell at the club after joining from Zenit St. Petersburg in the summer. Bonuk Sai never actually made an appearance for Genoa, but he was on the club's books in 2009. He has gone on to become one of the country's best centre backs since leaving. Currently at Juventus, Bonuk Sai has racked up 85 appearances for his country. Genoa could field a strong centre-back partnership in Bonuxi and Socrates. The Greek defender spent two seasons at the club, making 59 appearances, before being sold to AC Milan. He is currently a key part of Arsenal's defence. Salchko showed at the 2018 World Cup that he is a very good player. The Croatian fullback only played one season at Genoa, featuring for the club on 33 occasions. He is currently on loan at Inter Milan from Atletico Madrid. El Sharori started his career at Genoa but, after just three appearances, AC Milan signed him in a deal worth 20 million euros. After a rocky few years, he seems to have rebound his feet at Roma he has currently scored seven times in 16 appearances for the club this season. The only downside of this team is the midfield. Rincon impressed during his three seasons for the club, earning him a 8 million euros move to Juventus. Unfortunately, the move didn't turn out as he would have wised, meaning he moved to Torino after just one season. He is currently a mainstay in their midfield. Veloso has made a name for himself as a steady, but not spectacular footballer. The Portuguese international has amassed an impressive 56 appearances for his country. Ok, technically Lavezzi never made an appearance for the club, but he still has to be included. Genoa signed Lavezzi in 2004 but, due to financial constraints and a match-fixing scandal, he was sold back to San Lorenzo. He went on to play for the likes of Napoli and Paris Saint-Germain, and is currently tearing up the Chinese league with heavy China fortune. 
Now the two strikers Genoa could field are very strong. Immobile has been one of Serie A's most lethal strikers in recent years. Although he wasn't overly successful at Genoa, he has been impressive since leaving the club in 2013. At his current spell with Lazio, he has scored 82 appearances in 115 games. What a return that is! Pietk is probably Genoa's best signing in recent memory. Signed for 4 million euros last summer, Pietk bagged 19 goals in 21 appearances for the club. Unfortunately for Genoa, they could not hold on to him and were forced to sell him to AC Milan last month for 35 million euros.